breakdowns on the road, they happen all the time. And we took the big dummy with the 03 Suburban down to school in Virginia, and sure enough, I'm driving in front, he's following me in the, in the Suburban, and he goes to change lanes and puts his left, which is the driver's side directional on, and everything is flashing, like he has his hazards on. And then he goes into the right lane, puts the directional on, and it's flashing like it should. When he goes back left, now it's flashing like it should. And then the whole way down to Virginia, sometimes it was flashing four-way flashes, and sometimes it was working. And a little research, we found out that that's a common problem in a lot of these era GM vehicles, where when you put your directional on to the driver's side or the left, they will flash your four-way flashes or they will flash nothing. And it's an intermittent problem. It comes, goes, comes, goes. It always works good going to the right, though, for some reason. Turns out that it is a common GM thing, and it's the flasher module, or flasher relay, they call it, and that's under the dash for your four-way flashes and for your directionals. Um, it's not like a standard flasher. It's a little bit different. So we went to one of the Virginia local auto zones. And you know, in New York, when we go to an auto zone, we get a guy behind the counter, uh, and we're trying to find the part. Uh, they don't know anything. Well, we got somebody knowledgeable. I had a GM part number that I had looked up online. So I said, listen, I have a GM part number for it. And because I was calling it a relay, um, the person behind the counter was a, a female, and she thought it was a relay, and couldn't find it, and then we uh, said, okay, let's look for module, control module, something like that, and we, we were having trouble finding it, so we did a Google crossover with the GM number, got a part number for it. It turns out they just call it a flasher, um, and we got the CarQuest BWD brand because that's what they have at AutoZone, made in China. Don't call me a racist because I say it's made in China. It's made in China. Sometimes you get parts that are halfway decent made in China. Sometimes you get crap. A lot of times you get crap. This is FC Frank Charlie 563. It's just called a flasher. Okay? And I know the GM ones go for like, like $80 or $90. And this was um, in the neighborhood of, I think, almost $80. Bucks. Uh, the GM ones are known to fail. So... This is one situation where I wouldn't want to get a GM one. Um, this is the flasher, okay? Um, and where it is in the vehicle, come on, dummy cameraman. Where it is in the vehicle is, it's gonna be right up under here, all right? You got your, your hood release and you got your OBD2 port right down there, and it's gonna be behind this panel. So to remove this panel, you have two seven millimeter screws uh, one's right here, right? Is that the one? One's right there, and one's down on that end. Now, of course, we have our road tools with us, so we had to use pliers to get those seven millimeter screws out. And in order to get this panel off, you got to pop this off. So let me move, and I'll show you. All right. So the first thing to do is you got to get this bezel off, and this bezel kind of pops off. Sometimes you need a little screwdriver to get up behind it. Some of them are loose. This one's a little tight, so I'm going to grab the screwdriver down here. Okay, and I'm just going to give a little, a little pry. All right, and once you get it started, it pops off. Now your directional is in the way, so once you get it loose, you got to get the key, um, and move. Not your directional, your your gear shifter is in the way to get it all the way loose. So once you get it started, actually, that should be good. Once you get it started, you got to move your gear shifter down. I'm going to put the key in the ignition. All right, I am on a little bit of a hill, so I got my foot on the brake. All right, and this bezel, let me tilt it down all the way, pops right out like that. And you can put it over on the side. You can put yourself back in park so you don't roll away. And you can turn your key off. All right, now we got those screws out there. Let's get this key out. Oh, you got the screws out there, so now this panel just pulls straight out and comes down like that. The relay that we're looking for is right here, all right, and we're going to reach in there and we're going to jiggle it out as best as we can. There we go. There, and that's the way it goes in like that with the two tabs on the bottom. 
All right, and the one in here is, is a GM. Probably the original one. There's our spare part. There it is. All right, so I'll, we'll take our new one. Come in here. Pop it in. It feels like it's in all the way. Right? Yeah. yeah, it looks about just as far in as the other one was. Here's the line on it. If you look at the dirt line on the old one, you could see it was out about a quarter of an inch, about the same thing. Yep, we're good, we're in. All right, so we'll turn off the ignition on. To the right, which always worked. To the left, which works. Hopefully it'll continue to work, because like I said, it was an intermittent problem. We'll check off four ways, and they both work. All right, so get the process back in. All right, this panel is going to go in first. It just slides right into the guides. You see these guard guide pins right here. I just had a little trouble wiggling because I have a brake controller mounted up here, so it was a little bit of a wiggle for me. If you don't have the brake controller, then you don't have to worry about that. Turn my ignition on, put on the brake, drop the gear selector all the way down. Wiggle this guy back in here. Okay, once it's in its basic place, you can put it back in park, you can tilt the wheel, take your key out, all right, and then what you're gonna do is just make sure you find it where it's supposed to be, and pop it all back in. Now you got the two seven millimeter screws that go in, one right here, and one over there, and you're all set. So that's it for a quick episode of Axel's Garage. It's replacing the turn signal or the directional flasher relay or module i don't know they're calling it just a flasher so we got today on the road with axel's garage if you like the episode give us a thumbs up and if you like what we're doing here at axel's as always subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching